Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos on ecology. In this video, I will be providing you with a basic overview of what ecology is, as well as the different levels in which ecology is organized. The picture on the top of this slide shows each of the first four levels of organization that this video will elaborate upon. The individual, or organism level, the population level, community level, and ecosystem levels of ecology. Ecology is the study of the interactions between organisms and the living and non-living components of the environment. The picture to the right shows coral, fish, and water. Ecology could study the interactions of the coral with the fish, or look at the impact that the pH or temperature of the water has on the survival of the coral. Whether you're taking a class in biology, chemistry, or anatomy and physiology, you're studying a scientific level of organization. In chemistry, you might study atoms and molecules. Later this year in biology class, we will be studying molecular and cellular levels of organization. If you take a class in anatomy and physiology, the cell, tissue, organ, and organ system levels are emphasized. And in ecology, we'll be studying the organism, population, community, ecosystem, biome, and biosphere levels of organization. It is important to learn about all of these levels of organization. By understanding how things work on a very basic level, you can gain a better understanding of how things work in a more complex system. Knowing how bison interact as a population, using the picture to the right as an example, you might begin to understand why or how they interact with different species the way that they do in a community. The organism level of ecology takes a look at a single individual, studying how it survives in the world. Different adaptations that allow for it to succeed. To study the poison dart frog, shown in the picture to the right, scientists might study how an organism prevents water loss or how it survives in very cold temperatures. Scientists might also study how the bright coloration in the frog prevents it from being eaten or how its poison is produced. A population is a group of organisms of the same species that live in a particular place at a particular time. Ecologists might study, as the graphic below shows, how a population changes in size over time. In addition, scientists might study how organisms are dispersed in an area or the care that they provide for their offspring. A community would involve all the living components of the environment, that is many species, in one particular area of the world. In the community level of ecology, scientists could try to determine how the fish and the anemone interact with one another, as exhibited in this picture. Predator-prey and parasitic relationships that you might be familiar with are some ecology terms uh, involving this topic. The ecosystem level of organization is very similar in scale to the community level of ecology. The significant difference is that ecosystems would include the living and non-living factors in the environment. Using the picture to the right as a reference, scientists might study how species of fish eat plants, like the lily pads observed here. In addition, and this is really what distinguishes the ecosystem from the community levels, Scientists might try to determine how the temperature or pH of the water, those are non-living factors, affect the activity of the fish. If you were to observe different ecosystems throughout the world, you might begin to detect many similarities. Biomes are generalizations about different areas that possess similar temperatures and precipitation. In the image to the right, the areas in green all have moderate temperatures and moderate precipitation. All these areas would belong to the temperate deciduous forest biome. They are made up of primarily large trees, such as oak, that drop their leaves in the wintertime. The final level of ecology, that includes everything above, on, and below the Earth's surface, is the biosphere. This level of ecology looks at the interactions of everything on Earth, the big picture. That is the end of this video, providing a very brief overview of the different levels of ecological organization. If you're interested in learning more about these levels of ecology or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.